Hi everybody, this is Sergio Serra. I work in the Immobile Product Management team in the supply side of uh, the things specifically. And today we are going to talk about uh, two important innovations that got recently released uh, by IAB. Uh, these are Sellers.json and Supply Chain Object. Now, uh, these two specs are completing or trying to complete a major effort that uh, you know started uh, two years ago from IAB uh, with ads.txt, uh, which is you know combating as much as possible uh, fraud. Uh, now, uh, if you really think about ads.txt, what ads.txt was trying to do, uh, and uh, when I talk about ads.txt, I want to you know, put it in context with apps, so app ads.txt, which was released at the beginning of this year, 2019. Uh, so when you think about app ads.txt, what uh, it was trying to solve for was basically uh, bundle spoofing, uh, along with uh, you know, detecting any unauthorized resold inventory. Uh, what ads.txt was not really solving for was, uh, you know, providing a, a view from a buyer standpoint into the actual ad opportunity. Uh, so that's where these new two specs are, are coming uh, to place. And uh, let's look at their template. So if uh, we start with Celeste.json, Celeste.json can be uh, can be actually seen as a you know counterpart of uh, uh, ads.txt, uh, but for the SSPs. Actually, I don't really want to tri trivialize this spec as a counterpart of ads.txt because uh, you know the primary goal is slightly different. So uh, both sellers.json and supply chain uh, purely look at uh, the money flow, right? Uh, so while ads.txt is more about account ownership. Uh, in the in the SSP platform, uh, when it comes to as, uh, when it comes to sellers.json and supply chain, we uh, purely refer to the money flow. So uh, these two tools are given to the buy side uh, simply to understand where the money is going to. Now let's look at the pattern. Uh, sellers.json has a couple of fields. Uh, the most important ones being up on top. Uh, so we have the seller type. So seller type here can be of three types. Uh, you can have publisher, which is you know direct, and in this case, you know Imobi as an SSP is paying, is paying direct to the publisher. Then you can have uh, you know uh, the uh, intermediary uh, type of uh, uh, of partnership in which uh, we are paying uh, someone else uh, on the behalf of the publisher, uh, which means it's not a direct payment to the publisher. And then you can have a use case in which both uh, publisher intermediary use cases are possible. Uh, now, the second field is seller ID. This ID is the same ID that uh, either the SSP should be providing to the publisher in terms of ads.txt. So, uh, DSP should uh, you know, uh, try to look up for the same ID uh, when it comes to both sellers.json and uh, ads.txt. Uh, so, pub ID specifically. Uh, and uh, uh, this, by the way, also the same ID uh, that is present in the pub object of the OpenRTB uh, request to the DSPs. Uh, now, the other important field is name and domain, where name is uh, simply the name of the seller and the domain is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's domain. Uh, we also have two additional fields, which are, uh, you know, is confidential. Uh, for some, uh, uh, you know, uh, I would say minor use cases nowadays, it used to be more common in the past, but now it's uh, slightly less common. Uh, so in some cases, publishers don't want to disclose their partnership with the SSP. So in this case, the SSP is given a flexibility. We decided as an IEB community to give a flexibility uh, to the publisher, uh, to the SSP actually, not to declare what the publisher behind this seller ID and seller type is. Now, uh, and it is more like Sergio giving a tip to uh, DSPs. If you if you are working with an SSP that have a couple of uh, uh, you know occurrences in which uh, uh, is confidential is one, so uh, in which they don't want to disclose the the actual entity, this is understandable. But if uh, all of uh, their publisher portfolio is, is tagged as is confidential, well, I would doubt. I will, I will question the health of that business. Uh, now, the, the last field is, is pass-through. Uh, this mostly applies to um, use cases in which uh, the, the seller is acting as a facilitator. So, for instance, uh, Google AB or uh, Amazon TAM. Uh, now, let's look at the second important innovation, which is a uh, supply chain object. Supply chain, supply chain object is, is meant to be uh, a part of the OpenRTB request. So just to summarize again, uh, appads.txt, uh, if you remember from the previous video, is supposed to be in the, in the publisher root domain, uh, while uh, uh, sellers.json is supposed to be in the SSP root domain. Uh, so these are two external files that are hosted uh, by these two stakeholders. Now, supply chain object is an object that is a part of the OpenRTB request. Uh, so the great thing of this object is that it gives final uh, view 
again from a buying standpoint of where your money is going and uh, you know all the hopes all the hopes that were behind that specific ad opportunity uh, so if you look at the scheme uh, of the supply chain object uh, uh, you will have you know a couple of uh, important fields and uh, these are you know the first one is uh, uh, ASI which is uh, practically the, the domain uh, of uh, the, the SSP of, or the seller uh, then you have the SIID which is the ID that the SSP is giving to that specific seller and again this has to match with uh, publisher ID and the seller ID of sellers.json uh, and then you have the request ID and these two addition the request ID which is by the way generated by, uh, uh, by the seller and then you have two additional uh, fields which are kind of redundant uh, when you support uh, sellers.json as well uh, reason being that uh, uh, you know supply uh, supply chain object and sellers.json should go hand in hand, uh, meaning that whenever you have this uh, SID uh, in the in the supply chain object, the DSP can simply look up the SID to the sellers.json file, and this allows also to a lighter pay payload, meaning the request itself will be lighter because now uh, you know all the all the uh, players in the chain don't have to uh, add name and domain uh, into their node. So the, the, this is the wall object. Now, uh, this specific section it, uh, it can be seen as a, as a node of the object. So each uh, stakeholder that is taking a, you know, a cut in the, in the uh, journey of this ad opportunity is supposed to inherit this, uh, this supply chain object from upstream and uh, to append its own node. Uh, so I think the primary value of uh, this object uh, comes when uh, the SSP doesn't have a direct integration with the publisher because in case there is a direct integration with the publisher, well, uh, you know, the SSP can just create the separation object uh, uh, on its own uh, and uh, the DSP is not given any additional visibility. But now suppose you have a use case in which uh, Immobi is, for instance, getting a supply from another aggregator, which we can define aggregator 1, 2, 3. So if uh, uh, I'm passing as a mob in the ad request, publisher ID as you know aggregator uh, uh, aggregator one two three, uh, basically the DSP doesn't get to know whether that aggregator is getting the request directly from the publisher or from another aggregator. So as you can understand, this becomes uh, fairly difficult from a demand side to understand you know where where their their money is going to. Um, so that's a great spec. Again, most of the value comes uh, when it comes to resolve supply, and uh, I will uh, I will I will also say that you know these two uh, specs together, along with appads.txt, put the the wall uh, programmatic advertising in a much better shape. So of course our uh, you know message from an, uh, as an SSP is to adopt this spec as soon as possible, uh, and uh, this is a message to our peers obviously. And from a, a demand side, I would uh, highly recommend pushing. Uh, your SSPs towards the adoption of these two specs. Now, when it comes to Immobi, uh, we did roll uh, support to uh, Sellers.json uh, as of uh, October 9th. Uh, and we are working towards, uh, so th this file is fully accessible uh, in, uh, in our uh, uh, root domain. So immobi.com uh, slash sellers.json, please go and visit. And then uh, supply chain object is uh, definitely in our roadmap. We are uh, on track to release it by the end of November slash the end of the quarter. Uh, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody.